Hello everyone, welcome to this new Tosh Designer tutorial on parametric equations. In this tutorial we're going to see how to make this new shape. This shape is named Icardioid. I don't know really how to is the right form to say it in English, but, but that's the name. And we're going to say it, uh, how to make it with uh, chops, tops and Python script. So I'm going to put this on the side and before we start we're going to see here in the Wolfram Madware page the parametric equations. As you can see the first equation we see is the polar equation so we're going to use the code for uh, converting the conversion from polar to parametric and these are the parametric equations. The conversion is easy. We just need to multiply the polar equation for by cosine for x axis and by sine for y axis. Okay, so I'm going to close this and I'm going to open this. Okay, so uh, this will be the preset that I will leave you in the comments, sorry, in the description of the video. And we're going to start first by declaring our samples in a constant. We're going to declare for now 100 and our uh, a para parameters that again is just one and the parameter is A and we're gonna give it a value of one uh, just wait a second i'm going to put the equation here so we can see it and we can follow it from here okay so this is our equations let's put this here and I'm going, we're going to place a parent chop as always. This parent chop, we change the type to ramp. We make active the constant and we drag the samples onto the length parameter. We click on chop reference and change the name to T. Then we're going to uh, change our range as we're working with radians. Our cycle is the value of 2p. So I'm going to multiply mat dot p by 2. And we have our cycle here. The next thing we're going to do is to first make this equation the polar equation that is one less cosine of t and we can do this with an expression shop okay in this expression we the input value is the, the value we have here so we apply the mat.cos to our value so as our value is in, in gradients we don't need to convert here so the next thing is to put one less and our equation so here we have uh, your, the, the polar equation sorry i'm going to close this so we can work better and uh, the next thing is to uh, make the polar equation if you have been following this series of tutorials in the uh, Archimedes spiral we made a component that hel will help us to convert more uh, fast the equation so we don't need to, to do so much work and this is the component here I just need to input the 
the equation, the polar equation, and inside I'm going to just uh, explain what it's doing. Here is our input equation, that is the polar equation. Here is our, the, our angle that we're working with. And we just uh, making the cosine function to the angle and the sine function and multiplying both functions, as you can see here, to the cosine for the pol by the polar and the polar by the sine for x and for y. And then we merge them, we rename them, and finally we make the, the output. So it's very easy. You, you can maybe pause the video and, and recreate it or uh, go to the tutorial on a spiral of Archimedes and I, here, there, I explain how to make it. So I'm just going to connect this to the input and here we have the parametric equations. Finally, I will add a merge In this merge, I'm going to copy pattern one, copy paste. I'm going to put it here. And I'm going to change the const, uh, sorry, the type to constant. The amplitude will be zero. And if we right click on to range parameter and we click reset parameter, we select the expression. Finally, we change the name to TC and connect them connect it to merge them and here are the all the three axes so you just will connect a null and finally we connect a chop to soap and our function have has been drawn so as you can see this is the the curve do it um, done sorry with chops the next thing is we're going to make it with um, dots so first we're going to put a ramp top this ramp top need to have the resolution on x or by the name of our samples and on y uh, resolution y we put one finally we change the cha the pixel format to 32 bit float eta gb okay from here we need to make this ram that goes from 0 to 1 to our cycle that is 2 pi and we can do this with a mat top in this mat top we go to the multi add page sorry to the range page and we type the same script or function that is math.py by 2 and we can copy and paste on the ray on the g channel the green channel as we will use red for x and green for um, for y and b for c so okay so here we have our cycle done then we pro we will proceed to make first this uh, equation the polar equation and to do this we need to connect a function function top in this function top we're going to calculate cosine for both red and green channels so cosine and cosine function b we choose constant value we verify that constant value is zero and angle units is radians okay so here we have this part and we proceed to make the subtraction to do this we need to place uh, constant this constant need to be white on all of the sorry just here we type zero and this constant 
also need to have the same resolution that the ramp change to 3 bit float RGB and then we connect a subtract here in the subtract we subtracting for the first input the second input so we need to connect first the one value or the one texture and then the cosine of t uh, texture and just give me a, a second okay i think it's right okay so here the this function is done is already here for both channels the next uh, thing we're going to do is to make the functions for x and y so for the output of our math we will connect another function or maybe sorry maybe we can copy paste this one also and change just for the uh, green channel to sign and the all other things are equal and now the thing we're going to do here is just to multiply them with a multiply top and this will be our um, result finally uh, the we need don't don't need to forget to connect this uh, constant that is a so we're going to put a mat and on the multi add page we're going to export or a parameter to multiply and on function is done uh, we just need to connect a null you can do this easily with all n and to this null we first need to convert to chops top to chops we will rename air to tx the green to ty and the blue to tc and the left the alpha as we don't need them finally we connect this uh, chop to sub and again as you can see the same shape is done for both uh, for both families for, uh, operators so uh, our last one is with the python script that is already here so i'm going to put this here i'm going to open the script with our external editor okay so i'm going to place it here uh, as you can see the parameters are already um, uh, declared sorry so first we need to declare them inside the script and we can do this uh, put in the name we want samples then samples is equal to script op dot par dot samples then a equal to script op dot par dot a the name of the parameter needs to be the same that the, the one that we put here this is the name and finally the cycle or cycle will be equal to math dot by four by two okay so we save the file and the error is gone as the samples are already declared but our actual samples if we see are zero and our parameter a is also zero so we need to export from the constant we drag to the samples chop reference and the a to a and chop reference and now we have our three channels with zero value as we uh, haven't assigned 
the value with the equation and the length is 100 seconds okay so going back to the script the next step is assigning the samples it's already done and we need to calculate the step size the step is calculated with the cycle parameter divided by samples less one so we calculate here our step and the last thing is to assign the value for the channels so we need to make it this with a for loop as we will assign for every sample independently so for i in range oh sorry range the samples equal to and first we're going to calculate our angle so i'm gonna put here angle and our angle is the value of our step size multiplied by the actual uh, sample so here we have the the angle and uh, in this script we have the polar equation we did the polar the sorry the polar parametric equation we did also in the um, archimedes spiral uh, tutorial so uh, this will be uh, we will be using this this equation in future course so here we just need to uh, type first our polar equation and then our angle and it will return the cosine and the parametric cosine and the parametric sine so as we are returning here both uh, equations at the same time we also can uh, assign it to the channels at the same time so we just need to use one line of code and we're going to type dx or axis to the actual sample of dx to the actual sample of ty and this will be equal to polar to parametric and here we type one less math dot cos of angle then a comma and we type our angle we save the file and we see the uh, calculations are done correctly so also here is connect the null and the chop to sub we just need to make it active and press h to home and we can see also here that the a curve is is done so we just made it also with python and the next thing is uh, i'm going to show you some ways that we can use this this information so i'm going to close this and sorry before i i continue i just need to make here room for one operation I forgot to make we just need to multiply our uh, functions by our parameter a and we I didn't do it before here so I'm going to add here a mat and multi add I'm going to drag to multiply the a parameter and it's done okay 
so I'm going now to put uh, or make visible the left sorry the right panel I had before I just need to uh, take off the full screen and here is the viewer okay so in this select I'm going to work with chops to make the instances so I'm going to put it here it's already selected and I'm going to geo one then I go to the instance page we turn it on and drag the selected or the select uh, sub to translate up and we select P0 for TX P1 for TY and P2 for TC and you can see that the shape is already done I can just scale this to make it easy to see okay I'm going to translate it by 5 and maybe sorry no 0.5 anyway okay so it's already centered okay I'm going to we're going to make uh, some variations on scale rotation and color and we can do this easily with the uh, uh, noise top so I'm going to add a noise top this noise top needs to be with the same uh, resolution as our paste tops so I'm going to drag the samples to resolution X resolution Y to 1 and change the pixel format to 32 bit flow RGB we can rename this noise 1 to scale we copy and paste and change the second one to rotation rotation and last copy and paste and change the name to color okay so first I'm gonna drag them to the um, to the instance page scale will be to drag it to scale up and select just one channel for all the um, all the axes and you can see that here uh, we're having or we're seeing some uh, scaling of the of the circles okay then then rotation we drag it to rotate up and select maybe R, G, and B for X, Y, and C and we here don't see so much as we're working with circles but when we have 3D shapes the rotations will be uh, we will be seeing the rotations so finally we go to the instance to page and drag color the color up and select the corresponding channels and here you also see something so first by color we need to set off monochrome and we are seeing here some color applied to, to our samples we can change the period maybe down the scale to 0.2 change the seed and we can give it some movement on translate C we type apps time dot seconds and multiply this by point two okay then uh, on the scale 
we can do maybe our offset will be 3 we have the offset is our initial scale and from there we're applying the amplitude up and down by this value so maybe I don't know 2 and we we can play with period so as we have a lower period it looks more uh, random and as we have a higher period it looks more smooth the, the scaling and we also can give it some moving we just need to copy this uh, script and paste it on the GC channel of scale and we see the movement of the scale and you can play here with velocity okay so next thing is okay I'm going to add here a material we're going back later to the rotation okay material sorry material here yeah, we're going to add a fong 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 and we drag it to material we can change the diffuse to one so color are more vivid and here i'm going to place a sphere we can place also a box and we connect here a switch so we here here we can switch bef to between our three uh, shapes we have and you can see here that the 2d and 3d are instancing so here for example if we have these uh, boxes we can rotate them so it will be more fun to see so to make a different rotation for every axis we need also to turn on to turn off sorry monochrome and our offset we can leave it as zero but our amplitude will be one hundred and eighty degrees so we're going to 100 positive to 100 negative with a total of 360 degrees finally you can see here are already rotated and we can also give it the uh, movement uh, pasting the same expression and you see now they are rotating it is if it's too fast for you you can multiply it for 0 0.05 so they look more smooth okay so i think we are, we are almost done we can also uh, add another select here select sub and we select the curve we are uh, uh, instancing so also we can instance the same curve and it gives uh, some interesting results also as you can see if you select the curve you will be uh, seeing it scaled scaled down but if we turn off the transport turn off or bypass there bypass it sorry you can see also here the shape is is in his original size but we need to turn down or scaling and the rotation 
so if we go to the geometry and make the uniform scale a little bit like 0.2 you can see that also it creates an interesting shape here and this is also looking looking good for me it's looking good um what else also we can uh, give it movement to the uh, to the samples around the shape so we can do this using here at time dot seconds again and maybe multiply by point zero point five so <coughs> here is um we are seeing this uh, like little gap because when we uh, we're facing or changing or or cycle the shape is not a uh, full close so that's why we see this this gap so if we want uh, to move but not to have this gap we just need to select one of the other ones that are static and we won't see this this gap so we can switch back again but if we use the other um, the other shapes that have no the curve we need to turn on the transform then we just make bigger or uniform scale on the geometry and we go back to our previous values for rotation and for scale and I, I see that it's too fast so maybe multiply by 0 0.1 yes so you can see now all the shapes follow this path that we created and also if we multiply or uh, type the minus sign they will go backwards to the same uh, path of the or the carrier so i think that's that's it that's everything i hope you you enjoy this uh, tutorial if you have any comment uh, or feedback you can leave it in the comment section and if you like this video and want more uh, mathematical uh, tutorials in Touch Designer uh, please subscribe and hit the like button so that's it for now and we will see uh, I will see you in the next tutorial.